Is this thing going? There we go. There we oh, got it. Okay, great, great, great. Hello, how are you? Welcome, have a happy Thanksgiving today. All right, I would like to welcome you to my new segment here on Kayla Reacts. This is called Cooking at the Allen Estate. Cooking at the Allen Estate. Today what I'm gonna make for you is my special peach cobbler. And I wanted to make this video for you today because before anybody can mess up a peach cobbler. I wanted to make sure that you knew the correct way to make it here with me. First thing we need is to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. So if you are a black family, you know that you never leave the pots where they supposed to be. And unfortunately, all my pots is in the oven. So give me a moment to remove the pots. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Okay. All right, now another good thing about cooking at the Allen Estate is that we only cook if we are dressed in our furs. All right, now let me preheat this up. Excuse me, thank you. So, first thing you need, three pounds of peaches. Make sure that if you get canned peaches, make sure that they on brand, okay? I don't trust them off brand peaches. They be coming out looking all brown and uh, pale. That's not cute. Now we are gonna put one cup of sugar. Thank you, mother, thank you, mother. Give it up for Mrs. Allen. The homeowner of the Allen Estate. There she is in her fur coat looking wonderful. Two, let me check the recipe. Two tablespoons of cornstarch, please. Our little band of white. Two teaspoons of lemon juice, please. I hope y'all are keeping up, because I'm not going back. This is a one take. All right, here's the classic wooden spoon. We're going to start stirring this. Now be careful, because the cornstarch can pop up and get on your clothes, and I don't want no cornstarch on my fur. Now I need the cinnamon, please. Now listen, also if you come from a black family, you know that once we get to certain seasonings, we just know how much to put in there. So we gonna put this cinnamon in there, I don't know how much. That looks about good. All right, can you please hand me the nutmeg, please? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, allspice, please. Oh yeah. Now today I got imitation vanilla. I usually use the real vanilla from McCormick and uh, Schmidt. Wait, is it McCormick and Schmidt? No, just McCormick. I meant just McCormick, y'all. I'm sorry, <laughs> I have seafood on the brain. <laughs> So we got out some imitation vanilla. I don't have the real thing because I was cheap and real vanilla costs like $10 and I'm a broke college student. So we gonna put this little imitation vanilla in here. It smell all right? It's good, it's good y'all. There you go, that's enough. No, I don't know how much that was either. You're doing all that chopping back there. They can't <laughs> hear me with you doing all that chopping. Okay, wait a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, she gotta go uh, change out her coat. She wears one coat for dinner, and then she wears one coat when she makes dessert. Meantime, we gonna keep making our peach cobbler. So, what you also need, a half stick of butter. Now we gonna cut this butter up. Oh, there she is! There she is in her Alaskan fur! Don't call Peter on us. What is going on with this butter? Got it. <laughs> How old is this butter? Now we're gonna stir this up. So here at the Allen Estate, we only use the best china, straight from China. And you're just gonna drop it in this pan. Boop, boop, boop. Spread this peaches out evenly across the pan. Now you're gonna put your crust on the top. I used to make my own pie crust, but that's a lot of work. Now you're gonna unroll it. Now this, this is top secret, and I'm the only one that knows how to do this, so what I'm about to tell y'all is special, okay? Now, don't be out there spreading my business. I know y'all used to using knives, but I got something better. I got a piece of crust cut. Now, we gonna cut easy as pie. <laughs> you get it, pie? Even though I'm making a cobbler, but that pie made sense to me. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna keep on moving. Now, we gonna lay these down. Into a lattice. Is that what you say? Is it lattice or lattice? Lattice. Are you sure? For those that don't know what that is, that means we're gonna crisscross it, okay? There is our pie crust topping. Let me show y'all real quick. Look at that, y'all. Perfect thing. Now we're gonna move into what we do on the crust on the top. Oh, this is it's falling. It's falling. It's falling. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we back, y'all. We back. I fixed it. Y'all, I'm allergic to eggs. Now we're gonna whisk. This egg. They just said what we do the baby chickens. Such a sacrifice. I'm thankful for the chickens. You did not die in vain. Now, you're gonna take your cinnamon again and you're just gonna sprinkle this all on the top. Sorry. Now we're gonna put the nutmeg, allspice. You're gonna grab you some sugar and then you're gonna sprinkle that right on the top. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven and I will be back with you later and we're gonna see 
what it came out to be. Ooh, yes, Chad. Look at that peach cobbler. Just verbally. 